Mac Method Gang. Rebrand your identity before 2025. Yes, guys. You have to start working on yourself before you do the New Year's resolution because a lot of people want to wait till they get to the New Year's resolution. Then they want to start and then they eventually fall, um, end up falling off within a week or two. But you really need to make momentum before you even get to that point. So you should be doing this already ASAP. So if you haven't started trying to you know, self-improve, better yourself, doing the things that you actually want to do, you got to start now because that's going to create the momentum for you to keep going and keep going because it's going to be hard. But, you know, New Year's resolutions, people do them all the time. And you see how it goes when people go to the gym, man. They'll go for a week or two, a month maybe, and then they'll fall off for four months. So it's like you just got to you just got to go. Stop thinking about it. Stop trying to plan after this, after I eat Thanksgiving and after. No, bro. Start right now. You can do something every day that's going to get you to whatever your goal is. Everyone has different goals, but you should you have to start right now. So I'm going to get into exactly on how to rebrand yourself and get the ball rolling to actually rebrand your entire identity before 2025. So when you get to 2025, you're already, you know, closer to the identity you actually want to have, the person you want to be, the alter ego you want to become. So without further ado, like the video, subscribe to the channel and I actually remember this time, follow me on IG, Mac underscore method. It's going to be in my description. I mean, go ahead and follow me. And also, guys, I do do coaching program mindset. You know what I mean? Obviously, your body and looks maxing is also a part of it. So go ahead, book a call with me if you want to join. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So we're branding your identity before 2025, right? So number one, you're going to want to do... Um, you're going to want to start with your mindset. This is, this is number one, bro, because without this, you can't do anything because if your mindset isn't in the right place, nothing's going to happen. It's the same reason why nothing has happened now. That's probably why you're watching this because nothing has happened, bro. Your mind is still the same. Uh, this is a good step though, because you're watching videos like this. So that means you're on the path or you're on, you're right at the point to where you just need a little push and you'll go full speed at whatever you want to do. So how do you start changing your mindset? Well, you kind of have to reset. You have to basically reset your brain. Reset your brain. And I know it's hard, guys. Like I'm this I'm talking I'm talking like um you know, like this is easy, but it's not really easy. It's definitely hard, but it doesn't matter if it's hard. It's got to be done, you know what I'm saying? Like it is what it is. And and I have to multiple I have to do this a lot. I have to reset my brain a lot because a lot of the times I'll get caught up with IG reels. I'll get caught up with TikTok videos and things like that. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm this perfect guru guy that does everything perfectly. No, bro. No, like a lot of the times, guys, I'll I'll fall off. Like I'll I'll get sucked back into the void, you know, but it's a matter of getting out. It's it's what's that saying? It's not about how many times you get knock down or whatever it's about how many times you get back up it's something like that you know what i'm talking about but that's what it is with me um i'm not gonna sit here and act like i'm like this perfect i got everything figured out dude i don't but i'm gonna hopefully this video will help you guys to get in that sort of you know get the ball rolling so you have to reset your brain 100 percent. so you have to realize what are you doing that's wasting that has you in that negative mind frame you know what i mean because like I said, mindset is a big thing. It's a huge thing. How are you thinking? Are you thinking positively? Are you thinking negatively? Do you let your, do you let things that are out of your control affect you? How do you react? How do you carry yourself as part of the mindset? How do you see the world? You know, do you see the glass half full? Do you see the glass half empty? All this stuff is huge. And all of this, you have to understand that when you reset your brain, you want to you want to basically cram it with all these positive things because right now you're probably negative. You probably don't see the world in a good way. You see everything negative. So if you're constantly thinking about negative things, constantly thinking about, you know, how this is bad and how, you know, all this negative crap, bro, you're bringing that into reality. You're manifesting this stuff into reality. Um, whether you believe in manifestation or not, you are, bro, because you are what you think. So if you're constantly thinking horrible things and you're constantly thinking that, you know, oh, I can't do this or, oh, why did he get that? Or all these things, 
you're negative effect one you're negatively affecting yourself and two you're putting that bad energy out in the world and in turn you're going to receive that bad energy back because the world is a mirror bro it's not a fucking door it's not a window that you just see through it's a fucking mirror so whatever you put out you're going to get back and and what once uh some shape or form you're going to get back whatever you put out it might not be it might not even be through your, this thing goes so deep it might not even be through your lifetime it might be through your kids or your close family member like all this stuff is is real guys i'm not gonna get too into that but yeah so you definitely have to change your mindset you definitely have to reset your brain um first you gotta figure out why is your mindset like that why do you have no confidence right why do you have no um why are you negative like literally why are you negative that it all boils down to why are you negative nine times out of ten it's because you have no confidence in yourself and it's because you you're 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 letting you're being a victim to your circumstances even if your circumstances are shit you're still letting your circumstances determine how you think and how you move and you're letting the outside things control you when in reality you should let those things fuel you to act, fuel you to actually change your circumstances to change your mindset you know what i mean you have to believe that you're un it's about an unchained mindset let me just put this in here because i i talk about this a lot on my instagram um and i say unchained i literally say comment down below unchained if you got this far in the video because it's all about having an unchained mindset what is an unchained mindset it means being it's not you're you're not bounded by your self-limiting beliefs we are all bounded by our self-limiting beliefs in one way you know what i mean i'm touching back to what i said earlier like oh i can't do this or you know that's not for me or i can't get rich or i can't get whatever it is you want to get you're already you're already failing at that because you're putting it in your mind that you can't get it you're telling you're literally telling yourself i can't do it so yeah you probably can't do it but if you change that and even if, say, for example, you want to try a new hobby, a new sport, and you might think like, oh, I suck. I, I'll never get, I'll never be able to do this because I suck at it. There's a way to change this way of thinking and this way of projection, right? Because if you say it like that, it's kind of already confirming that you're not going to be able to do it. But if you, if you understand that, yeah, I'm a beginner, I'm new to this, but in time, I'm going to get better. I will be able to do this you're going to get better and you're going to be able to do whatever you're doing. So it's like me, even when I started dancing, guys, I'm the worst dancer ever. Like my family members know, bro, I'm horrible at dancing, terrible at dancing. Right. I don't know how I just wasn't blessed with the, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting way better now though. I'm, I'm way better than I was before, but I changed the way I was thinking. I changed the way I looked at it because I was always telling myself like, Oh, I can never dance. I can never be a good dancer because I suck, bro. But as soon as I changed that to like, yeah, I know I suck, but me doing this every day, I'm going to get better. I know I'm going to get better. I am definitely going to get better. I'm going to be able to dance. I'm going to be able to do this. Guys, I've gotten way better. No, I'm not a freaking pro dancer or anything like that at all. But the amount of improvements I've made from where I started, bro, I'm a million times better. A trillion times better than how I was when I first started. And it was just that simple way of thinking. So that's basically what it means to change your mindset and reset your brain. You got to get all that crap out of your brain. You know what I mean? Your brain, your thoughts are all unorganized right now. So it's affecting your mindset. And it's also like, what are you consuming, bro? Like, what are you watching? You know what I mean? Because a lot of the times people nowadays, they watch the news, they watch all this conflict, all this stuff that's like negative. And, and, and again, it that portrays in your reality. You start manifesting those things. You'll wake up and you'll see, you'll watch the news right away and you'll see some heinous crime or some crazy thing happening. It's already subconsciously setting you up to like at a bad state. Even if consciously you're not in a bad mood, subconsciously this thing is working, bro, because you're already filling your mind up with these negative, these negative things, these negative thoughts, these negative things that you've seen, whatever happened. Um, it, it goes deep. This stuff really goes deep. So you got to avoid negative stuff at all times. Like seriously, like literally. And stop looking at the glass half empty, bro. That's the problem with a lot of you people. You look at the glass half empty. Why the fuck do you look at the glass half empty, bro? You need to see that shit half full. You need to have an abundance mindset. Abundance. 
you to think in abundance, bro. Because seeing a glass half empty is scarcity. You're operating in fear, basically. You're operating in, in, in yeah, in fear. You're operating in fear in terms of you feel like you can't ever get this back. You know what I mean? Or it's going to be so difficult to get this back. So you're so, you're so like, um, you're not free flowing, you're restricted and you're just, you don't want to operate in that. And that's how most people operate. You know, obviously it happens to me too. Like I said, guys, I'm not perfect, but I'm, these are things that I keep in mind all the time. So I don't fall into the trap of being like this. You know what I'm saying? You have to think abundantly. Once you think abundantly, you'll start seeing the glass half full. You start seeing things that, for example, money is a good example, right? I'm not saying be dumb and spend all your money on stuff, but the moment you start looking at money as something that's in abundance, something that you can garner, that you can create this wealth, that you can get this money, that you don't have to be in fear of losing money, then you're going to start getting more money. It's as simple as that. Like I started getting way more money when I started not being so um having the scarcity mindset you know being living in scarce and thinking all oh, i can never get it back i have to save everything i'm not saying don't save that's not the point because a lot of you guys will hear this and be like okay so i gotta no dude like i'm not saying be dumb and go broke <laughs> i gotta make this clear okay what i'm saying is just when you start thinking in abundance you're gonna get more out of it you're gonna you're gonna attract this stuff like i'm telling you guys you are um it might not be asap it might not be you know in the time frame that you think but it's gonna slowly start to happen it's gonna it's gonna start happening and you won't realize it until you reflect and be like oh, okay damn like i see i see how i you i'm telling you this guy guys this stuff is like this stuff goes really deep goes it goes super deep bro and i'm and like i said I'm just basing this off of my experience for the most part. And I'm not saying I've experienced everything, obviously not, but I've definitely experienced this when changing your mindset, bro, to having from going from scarcity to abundance, bro. It, it it's like, this shit is real. This shit is real. Dude. So, so yeah, just to recap guys, mindset, you want to have an unchained mindset, of course, unchained. And one more time, this means being unchained means not bounded by your self-limited beliefs. Not bounded by your self-limiting beliefs. That's what you... If you take anything from this is don't be bounded by your self-limiting beliefs. Don't put yourself don't trap yourself don't like seriously if you want to do something fucking do it bro if you want to have a new career a new whatever you want to start a new thing do something new do it because at the end of the day it's your life dude it's literally your life you know what i'm saying you only have one <laughs> so you better make the most out of it and this doesn't mean be dumb as hell and like people will run with this and do stupid shit like I'm not I'm not talking in the sense of doing dumbass shit. I'm talking if you want to, you know, start a new business or start a new hobby or a new career, uh, whatever you want to do in terms of something good that you're benefiting from and you're possibly benefiting other people from, you should do it. I'm not saying be fucking stupid and, and you know, take drugs or some sh dumbass shit like that. Like, no, because a lot of people will see that and be like, oh, this means I can do this. Like, no, dummy. That's why you're in the same spot. You're fucking in. Anyways, let's move on to the vessel. So I would say this is number two. Once you get your mindset in order and you reset your brain and now you have these new, this new structure and way of thinking, your vessel, right? What is your vessel? Your vessel is your body, your temple. So we want to rebrand ourselves, right? This whole thing is rebranding ourselves. Once we rebrand and change our mindset to now we think positively, now we're doing things that are actually going to get us to that goal. Now that we reset our brain, we're putting all these good information. We're learning new things. We're planning our days. We're doing this and that. Now we got our vessel, which is our body. So we want to change our body. If you're skinny, if you're fat, we want to obviously change that to represent the person 
we want to be. A lot of the times, this kind of goes in tandem, the mindset and the vessel. Or well, honestly, all this stuff goes, you can interchange this any way you want, really. But a lot of the times, um, we, you know, what we show, what we display is how we think of, has how our mindset is a lot of the times. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not talking about the exceptions, but for the most part, if you look fat, sloppy, depressed, skinny, or you're skinny, you know, like don't take care of yourself all this stuff bro your your mindset's already fucked like i already know that you're probably depressed you have no you know you don't have a drive or your drive is very low because you're depressed your mindset sucks and you could tell because if your mindset was on point and you was really out here you wouldn't be looking like that you would take care of yourself and this doesn't mean you have to be a freaking ripped body you know bodybuilder or anything like that but you would keep yourself in shape is my point. And sh obviously being in shape is relative to whatever your goals are. But come on, bro. Let's be completely honest. We want to be fucking ripped, bro. Like, let's keep it real. So once we start working on our body, we're literally change our identity. We'll start looking different, right? So if you're fat... You obviously want to lose weight, but not just lose weight. You want to build muscle as well. Lose weight and build muscle. This is a this is a easy way to rebrand yourself. This is the most noticeable way because people can't really notice your mindset unless they you know you're in a horrible state and now all of a sudden you're we're thinking more positively and things like that. And then yeah, they'll they'll point it out. But something that's more obvious is obviously your freaking body. If they see that you were fat as shit. And now they see you like slimming down, building muscle, getting, you know, losing face fat, all this stuff. That's an obvious change. Like they're going to notice and you're literally changing your identity like in front of their eyes. You know what I mean? In front of your own eyes and you'll start feeling better. And that in turn is going to help the mindset because once this starts getting in order, your mindset is going to start getting better because you're going to get more confidence when you look at yourself in the mirror you're going to be like damn i'm him i feel good i feel great that's how i man i wake up every morning and after i make my bed and do my things i look in the mirror and i'm like yo i always do this shit I, <laughs> like i'm like yeah i'm him bro because because i like how, how i see how much i've made progress over the years bro training every day and i i'm 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 happy with what I've done with my body, how much I've built it up. And I'm still continuing to crush it every day. You know what I mean? That shit gives me confidence, bro. It gives me confidence. Seeing myself and being like, yeah, I'm him. Feeling good about how I look and how I feel. And because I know how it was before, dude. If you know anything about my story, I have a video, entire video going, basically my whole story, bro. Um, from being 149 pounds, stick, acne, all type of stuff, bro. No confidence, no swag, no game, everything, bro. Zero literally zero till now bro it's like how can i not be happy how can i not feel like i'm the shit bro that's how i feel like that's how i feel bro and you're gonna start feeling that shit too when you start transforming your body when you start losing the weight building muscle and then you get people to reinforce that and they'll start telling you they'll start telling you that oh you're looking good or what are you doing or this and that you know hey can you help me that shit is gonna make you feel great bro you don't know how good it feels when i i have people constantly constantly asking me how did you do that how did you get your body like that you look so good why aren't you in a show why aren't you modeling why aren't you doing this and it's not like i'm fishing for these compliments they just give me these compliments and i feel great and i feel good like i feel great i obviously thank them and things like that i don't let it like um, give me big headed or think I'm better than anyone, but it just it just makes you feel good, bro. Like it really does, and that's a huge part of this whole thing of whole rebranding your identity. You know what I'm saying? So, so I talked about the fat asses, but it's the same thing when you're skinny, bro. I started out when I started off skinny as hell, dude. Like I was, I was this, bro. I was literally, um. I was literally a stick, man. I was literally a stick. So with the people that has to gain weight or, you know, skinny people, they obviously have to gain weight and build muscle. Gain weight and build muscle. 
So when you do this, you're going to go from here to here. You want to build more muscle, obviously. You know what I mean? You want to get your body looking right. You don't want to be a skinny twig anymore like how I was. I was literally a twig, guys. Literally a twig. Um, so much so, a girl literally roasted me and called me a twig. But that's besides the point. So you want to build the muscle. That's going to boost your confidence. Definitely boosted mine. Definitely boosted mine, bro. <laughs> and for y'all that be worrying about a lot of, like, um, girls and, oh, will this help? Yes, bro. Simple answer. Yes, it's going to help. It's going to help. Um, <laughs> so that's pretty much it for the vessel. You know what I mean? You want to turn your outside appearance looking great. So that means obviously losing weight if you're fat, gaining, you know, muscle, gaining weight if you're skinny and just overall becoming that how you want to look like, bro. How do you want to look like? Write it down. Who, do you, how much do you want to weigh? How, what do you want? Six pack abs? You want through your shoulders, whatever. You got to write all this stuff down. I forgot to put that in the mindset part. But you got to write all this stuff down, you know what I mean? And obviously, that's going to help your confidence because probably part of the reason why your mindset sucks is because you don't like how you look. So you're already you're already giving yourself negative feedback off the rip, you know what I mean? So it's, it's really as simple as that. Um, as far as how else, like, yeah, this was the body. So this was showing, like, you know, how you can lose weight gain weight but you also want to do your grooming bro this is also a part of it we're changing our identity we're literally guys i have to keep mentioning this because i did a whole video on this i've changed my shit like hairstyles i had a freaking buzz cut before i had a curly top before i had a mo uh faux hawk before i've had a damn um you know a soccer player the side the you know what i mean the side i don't even know what it's called fades um corn rose but dude i've had every haircut you can think of like you know what i mean i've had everything i've tried everything i've done all of them i'm rocking with the long jesus hair look you know what i mean right now growing out my beard too um i i don't know i just decided to grow it out i usually you guys seen me in my most of my videos i have that shaved look but i decided to grow it out whatever um if i like it i'm gonna keep it if i don't i'm gonna shave it back down it's, it's just trying different things okay so that's how we change our look. So you're literally gonna change how you look, right? You're literally gonna change how you look. So whatever haircut you got, if it's whack, change it. You know what I'm saying? If you have a horrible haircut, change that shit. How do I find your hair? Well, how do you find a haircut that works for you? Well, first of all, go to your barber, ask them like, bro, I need help finding a haircut. If you don't, you know, it, cause they're gonna know, dude, they literally cut hair for a living. They know for the most part what looks good. And if you don't trust him, then I shouldn't be your barber, but if you don't um, feel like he's going to give you what's going to work, that's when you go and look at a celebrity or a influencer or someone famous or freaking an anime character, a cartoon character, whatever, bro, that resembles you in some way, whether it's race, whether it's features, whether it's hair type, whatever, dude. Um, who do you look like? Who do you people? Who do people compare you to? Or what do you think looks like you? You know what I mean? Because there's always someone out there that looks like you that has that haircut that fits. And I'm not saying copy that exact haircut, but now you know where to start. You see that okay, that works. Uh, maybe I can change it a little bit. Maybe I could add my own flair to it. And there you go from there, bro. It's really that easy. So get inspired by famous celebrities people because they know what they're doing the famous people they nine times out of ten they know how to freaking style themselves and look good you know what i'm saying so you just basically use that as a guide to get your haircut it's really that simple bro and then obviously once you get comfortable with what you want you can go ahead and change it style it whatever um a major part about this too is your style your how do you present yourself you know what i mean you can't be out here wearing pajamas out, bro. Like, there's bad people that walk around in pajamas. And I'm just like, that's crazy to me. Like, I, I don't, I don't get that. Um, it's like, there's, this is a slippery slope because it might be that those people are so content with themselves that they don't even care, which is, that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? 
but I feel like that's a rare situation. I feel for the most part, a lot of people, they just roll out of bed and just walk out. Like, it's not because they, well, they, they really don't care, but it's not because they don't care because they're so um, comfortable with who they are. It's just that they literally don't care about themselves and they don't give a f like, <laughs> they don't care about themselves at all. Like, they let themselves go type of thing. <laughs> so don't be that guy that walks around in pajamas, bro. Like, seriously, I don't even care if you are content with yourself. Don't do that. Because you never know what opportunity you might miss because of how you're dressed, bro. And it sounds dumb, but it's true. Like, how you present yourself is major because, let's be honest, everyone judges a book by its cover. I don't care what anyone says. We do. Like, is it good or bad? I'm not, the, I'm not here to say if it's good or bad. I'm just here to tell you the reality, and everyone does, bro you do when you're looking at a girl you know what i'm saying you see it like off rip you know what i mean it is what it is <laughs> so present yourself in how you want to be seen if you want to be seen like this top guy show show them that you're a top guy prove to yourself first and foremost that you're a top guy that you keep up that you dress up that you dress nice that you carry yourself in a nice way that you have that good body language that you have that you know that frame that's really what it is um you know so you always want to do that and that's part of your identity that's part of you who you are how do you carry yourself you know what i'm saying and i have to add this in here too this video is going to be end, end up being very long and this is off the top guys this is off the top of my head freaking you have to see what you f um feed yourself what is your fuel right this is huge because your fuel is very very important for your body if you feed yourself crap you're probably going to operate and cr your your energy levels are going to be low you're going to be tired you're going to have a crappy day you're going to have a crappy mood you're going to have a crappy mindset everything is affected by what you eat bro like seriously it's it's crazy it's really crazy and i know because guys I've been in like a down spiral in terms of like my skin. Like, you know what I mean? I had the clearest skin ever, no acne, zero. And to be honest, I, was, I wasn't I was eating the best. I really wasn't eating the best, you know what I mean? I was eating more sweets. I was eating more like candy or not really candy. Well, no, I was eating candy, I can't lie. I mean like Twix bars and shit, like Twix. Crumble cookie had me at a chokehold at one point. Um, I was eating that mad. I was eating like a lot of sweets, bro. I was eating that shit and you it it reflected on my skin right i started like me i have super acne prone skin so off the rip i'm at a disadvantage so i broke out crazy like i started breaking out like crazy bro like and it's been going on for months now it's getting way better now but now i have a bunch of dark spots and that's like super annoying because those take forever to go away but i completely changed that now because i'm not eating that garbage that i was eating like i was literally eating like a twix bar every day bro on some dumb shit like and that affected me and i actually felt every time i ate it i would feel more tired like I, yeah i would get that spike in energy but then immediately i would crash like right after crumble cookie same thing like i would eat it and i wouldn't even get a spike in energy i would just fucking crash bro like <laughs> so fuel is a big thing if you're eating processed garbage every day it's gonna reflect it's gonna reflect on your skin some people are lucky and it they won't show but it's gonna reflect on just even the health the the how your skin even looks you might not have breakouts and stuff like that but your skin's gonna look bad like literally just look like it doesn't glow it doesn't have a shine to it it doesn't have like life to it you know what i'm saying so fuel the food you eat is major obviously guys this means don't eat processed foods eat whole foods eat fruits eat vegetables you know, just relatively try to eat healthy. Obviously this goes in tandem with getting your body um, in the way you want it. And that's part of rebranding your identity because now we changed our mindset. Now we're changing our body and the projection. So projection means what you show. I kind of touched this on the vessel, but it's what your, um, how you carry yourself towards other people, right? Because now that your mindset's on point, your body's getting on point. Obviously you're doing all this stuff, like, you know, um, simultaneously, like all this stuff is gonna be working together. But when projection means when you're around people, are you shy? Are you timid? Are you 
are you um what's the word are you intimidated by them you know what i mean do you feel like you have to hold yourself back do you feel like you can't act how you are do you feel like they're better than you do you feel all these things right your projection you want to make this your alter ego so what is your alter ego your alter ego is a confident man or woman if you're a girl watching this confident your alter ego has charisma your alter ego has frame your alter ego has you know what i mean conviction and what he talks and direction you know what i'm saying there's millions of things i can just keep adding and adding and adding to this there's actually one more that i just lost that was going to add up here um confident charisma frame conviction direction and i guess i would say uh, i would put content with who they, who he is content so yeah that's what you project out in the world you know what i mean you're projecting this out to other people so when people see you instead of that old self that was not confident had no charisma didn't talk to people you know was intimidated by everyone felt like they're not good enough to be in this room they're not good enough to get this job they're not good enough to be in this position they're not good enough to be wherever you know whatever you're doing it's complete opposite you know what i mean you're projecting out now that you are this confident person because you actually are confident you have these things to back it up you literally built your body that's showing you confidence that i can build my own physique bro you can't buy your physique no one can make it for you no one can gift you it you have to make that shit from scratch bro you have to and that's one of the best things that's why i preach fitness all the time because you're literally starting from ground zero and you have to do it you can't buy it you can't you know someone can't give it to you like you have to do it you there's no other way you know what i'm saying so it's one of the best things because once you do conquer that you can pretty much conquer everything else you know what i'm saying because you have to just apply that same mindset to everything so back to what i was saying confident charisma you have frame now you're not shaken by people that are even coming at you negative because you know that you're solid you know where you stand and you know that whatever they're talking about it's not going to affect you either way you're not going to take it personal because you know who you are you're secure you're content with who you are you have conviction and when you speak because you've lived these experiences you have the experience to back it up you know what i'm saying you have trials and tribulations that you've done that backs up what you talk about you're confident you have charisma you're able to sway people you're able to recruit people like guys at my job dude um I don't, i'm not even trying i don't go out of my way to make people like me people just like me for the most part like because i have charisma because i'm confidence be, confidence because i'm not i am who i am i act how i act dude i don't care about what is happening like obviously you know depending on the situation you have to obviously you know act accordingly to whatever but for the most part guys i'm who i am you know what i'm saying and it attracts people because they they see that i'm someone free flowing that i don't think take things that don't need to be taken so serious serious that i'm someone that sees life through a positive lens i'm someone that i'm just someone that goes through life with a happy um demeanor with a positive outlook and a lot of people don't have positive outlooks they have horrible negative terrible outlooks on everything and by me acting like this it's infectious they want to they they're not used to being someone being near someone that's like this that takes life for what it is that takes life with joy that you know i'm not saying guys that i'm happy 24 7 and and ooh, like, no but for the most part guys i try to see the good in everything even if something horrible happens i always 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 try to see the good in every single thing that happens because nine times out of ten something good always does come out of it it can be the worst thing that happened I literally got in a car crash, literally got in a car crash. And I, when I, when I show the pictures to people, they're like, how the hell are you alive? Like I had, I came out unscathed, bro. Glory to God. I literally came out unscathed, no damage, nothing. And my whole car fucking totaled the whole shit blew, bro. <laughs> and I came out unscathed and you're probably like, okay, what the hell is the 
what was positive about getting in a car crash. The positive that came out of it was that I I appreciated life more because, dude, I could have literally just died. And as soon as I got out, I was like, damn. I was like, yo, God had me real quick. God held me down. And I was like, yo. And I started laughing about it because that's how I do with things, guys. I laugh at the most horrible things. Um, and I just started laughing. I'm like, well, I could have died, but I didn't. And this just made me appreciate life more because I could literally lose my life like that. Like, I literally could have just died instantly. And that would be it. You know what I'm saying? So, but I didn't, though. And I tried to make it a positive thing. I'm like, okay, well... I'm still going, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it is what it is, guys. That's how I see it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much projection. Also, this has to do with... I'm trying to cut this video short, but there's no way this is going to be short. This is going to be like an hour long. Um, body language, too. Your projection of body language. So how is your body language? You know, scientists and, you know, people that do human psychology and all that crap, they say that body language is like 70% of your communication. Like most communication is nonverbal. So how are you standing? How are you sitting? How are you looking like? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing? Are you nervous? You know, all this stuff it can be portrayed through body language. Like my body language, I would say is super, I'm, I'm always like, um, this is hypocritical to say because I'm kind of like hunched over right now. <laughs> but when I go out, guys, I'm always like chest up, things like that. Like subconsciously, like, I'm always, you know, standing like with a purpose, pretty much. Like my chest is always up. I'm never looking down. I'm never like, you know, like uh, like walking like that. I don't know, dude. All that stuff. Like super open when I talk to people. Um, super like focused. Like if I talk to someone, my feet shift to listen to them. Um all these subtle things guys there's, there's so many different body language things and you can actually pick up from other people when you see you can tell when someone's nervous you can tell when someone's you know what i'm saying uncomfortable or whatever but um yeah body language is huge body language is huge guys it's huge in any type of dynamic whether you're trying to you know see a girl you're talking to whether it's a business thing whether it's a job thing whether it's whatever dude it's huge like you can save a lot of time and save uh yourself bro with body language and it's just major guys so you can hold i'm not gonna go into like every fucking body language thing but i just know that that's major as well and that's part of the projection of what you're portraying and that's pretty much it so all this goes to lead to rebranding yourself before 2025 right so at this point you've done the mindset all this stuff is lifelong journeys by the way guys this is not like a one month thing and then like oh i have it. no bro this is like forever going like once you start this it's forever going i didn't work out for a month and then now i have this physique and i'm gonna stop like no dude i've been working out for six years straight like mindset thing dude i it's been like this for me but I don't stay in the slump. I always try to shoot back up. Projection, body language. I had horrible body language before. I had hor I had no confidence, charisma. I talked about all this. Like, it's all this stuff is lifelong stuff, bro. Um, so, yeah, that's going to get you to rebrand your identity. You'll change your identity from, you know, a loser that gets nothing that looks at life horribly to a fucking winner that is out here getting what he wants you know what i'm saying doing what he wants and just appreciating life for what it is and being more grateful and being more uh, just a genuine person someone that people look up to and someone that is just Content, someone that's just happy, someone that's peaceful, you know what I'm saying? So that's how you rebrand your identity before 2025. Ah, uh, this video is so fucking long, bro. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. That's it for the video. Follow me on Instagram, Mac underscore method. Book a call with me if you want to get in the program. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.